this about poly gel. Poly gel has a poly tool. You'll see one side is a spatula, the other side is a brush. Another great thing about poly gel is it is odor free. An odor free nail enhancement that will actually work miracles on the nail. It's gonna feel lightweight, it's not gonna feel heavy, it's not going to feel like an acrylic nail. It is not an acrylic and it is not a gel. What it is though is a mixture of both. It has tri-polymers, so three different types of polymers here. We're gonna clean up our jar and then we are going to put our slip solution. Now slip solution is not a monomer. What slip solution is, is basically like a lubricant or like a brush softener. It is something that keeps your brush from sticking to poly gel. So the first thing I'm gonna do is apply, I'm gonna do a pink and white nail here with a cover pink. We're going to take our pink, we're going to squeeze a little tiny bit of poly gel. Don't need a lot, just a little. I'm gonna let it retract a little bit. I only need a little bit. One, two, it's going to be able to do 400 nails. Because look at you're not using a lot. If I have too much to say, oh, I didn't want that much, oh, I can put a little bit back in. Put a little bit back in, oh, I wanna put a little more in. Up to you. If you want a little more, get a little more. We're going to roll poly gel right onto the nail. You see, it's not moving anywhere. It's gonna give me the complete control I need. I'm going to use very little slip. You do not need a lot of slip. Very, very little. We're going to move this bead of poly gel right onto the middle of her nail bed, right there. You'll see nothing is moving. It stays exactly where I put it. Us as nail techs, we love to control our product. We don't want the product to control us. So what I'm going to do, cleanse off my brush. Now this is very simple, guys. If you guys can follow me here, this is very simple. All we're gonna do is place our brush right in the middle of the nail bed, press firmly, and then towards the cuticle. What you see now, I already have a smile line here from one press. Now I'm getting thin around the cuticle and I'm gonna get it up a little bit tighter. You notice nothing moving? It's real, no special effects here. It is not moving. It's only moving when I tell it to move. Now I'm gonna perfect my smile line. Take my brush. I want a deeper smile line even though it's a short, cute little nail. We can still make it look great with poly gel. I got one side done, I'm gonna move over to the other side. Now when you're doing this on a client, you can apply the pink to all five nails and then go back and press it into shape. It's not gonna move on you. It's gonna stay wherever you put it. You tell it when to move. We're gonna make it the perfect shape. Jamie is from Modern Salon Magazine, so she might have a few great words to say about this product. <laughs> Jamie? Go ahead and put your hand into the 18G Plus LED light. If you guys are not using the 18G Plus LED light, you guys definitely want to get your hands on it. Touch screen LED, two watt each bulb. Now, I'm gonna pass this around to some of you guys. Smell the slip solution. When I say odor free, I mean it smells great. It smells like cucumber melon. Smell, smell my neck. That is actually slip solution, and it is a cucumber melon aftershave for me. <laughs> Just kidding, it's not. But it smells great. Your salon is no longer going to have that nasty odor. Men, we hate that smell, don't we, guys? It is a horrible, horrible smell when you're in a salon and you have to sit there waiting for your woman to get her nails done. For two hours, I don't want to smell that. I'd rather smell cucumber melon. So we can thank Mr. Danny Hale for coming up with this product. This is an amazing product. Don't you love that? It doesn't. Imagine having your salon smell good while you're doing nails. 
Oh. You already smelled it. No, I didn't. Oh, you didn't? No. It does smell good, right? 30 seconds. Our client is going to take our hand out of the light. Now we're going to apply bright white. UV activated. I have Paul H.L. bright white here. Gonna squeeze a little tiny bit. We don't need a lot. First, I'm gonna clean my spatula and let me show you how I clean this. This is really cool. We're gonna take our brush, wipe it onto a wipe, and then clean off the spatula with the slip solution. Slip solution is great for cleaning your spatula and squeeze, gonna slice, and then we're gonna roll. Let's say I have too much here. If I have too much, I'll show you how you get rid of it. Whoops. We will go ahead and apply this. Now this, doing the white is just as easy as doing the pink. We're going to place our bead in the center. Press firmly. Looks like I got a little bit of white on my pink. I don't care. Jamie doesn't care. Nobody cares. And the reason why nobody cares is because poly gel is so easy to file. It is not like a gel, it's not like an acrylic, it is something on its own. We're gonna place into all our corners here, both corners. Move it where I want it. And we've done tests to where we've made a smile line Went to lunch, came back three hours later. Yeah, we take long lunches. And the smile line is still there. So you'll notice that this does not look perfect, right? Doesn't look like maybe a very professional nail. But you know what, I don't care. We're gonna go ahead and cure it for 30 seconds. It was fast and it was easy. But that's not the best part. The best part is how it looks in the end and how it files as well. So I'm gonna use my wipe with a little bit of slip on there and clean off my brush and my spatula end. We do have, we still have slip available here today, guys. If you guys have poly gel but do not have enough slip, we still have some of that left here today. One thing you'll notice here is I can go ahead and touch her nail and it's not sticking to me. The inhibition layer doesn't feel like a builder gel or anything like that. I'm gonna go ahead and start filing right now. So this looks pretty bad, but only in a few swipes of a 180 grit file, we're gonna see that transform into a beautiful pink and white. Look at that, took nothing, no effort. And I'm not filing hard, am I? I'm filing very gentle on you. And it's not just because you're with the magazine or you're with the press, it's just part of the product. You're gonna shape for now and so continue. You don't, you don't really need to use a drill or anything. You don't really need to use a drill. It's not necessary with poly gel. Now, I know people are still going to, regardless of what we say or what we do here, and you're gonna see for yourself, you don't need to use an e-file or a drill here. Now within seconds, we were able to make a beautiful nail. Didn't look so beautiful in the beginning, but now it sure does. We're gonna take our nail surface cleanser, cleanse this nail off. If you find that you're, take a look at it now. I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see. Oh, a little bit out of focus, and there we go. Isn't that, isn't that what we want? Beautiful looking, on a natural nail overlay, and guess what? It is not going to lift. She's gonna wear this nail for weeks, and weeks, and weeks, and weeks, and weeks, and weeks. It is something that we're also going to have to educate our customers on that when the nail grows out, it is going to create pressure at the pre edge. So, when the nail does grow out, you want to teach your client that even though the product doesn't lift, 
And even though it's sticking on there, they still need to come back every two to three weeks. I felt like I had a few little scratches on there, so I'm gonna smoothen it out just slightly. I'm gonna cleanse it again. Take a look. At this point here, we can finish the nail with a gelish finish. We can finish it with a Morgan Taylor finish. Or I'm gonna be a little bit lazy and use our Top It Off, which is here. So I'm gonna use our Top It Off Gel Top Coat. This is a flexible top coat. I'm gonna go ahead and apply. You guys want to see this beautiful shiny nail here, right? I want you guys to feel this nail as soon as Jamie takes it out of life. We're going to go ahead and cure that for 30 seconds. We are currently, right now, completely sold out of poly gel. But, guess what? We're still having some slip solution left so it's, if you like that cucumber melon smell there's still a little bit of that left do you want, you want me to splash you with a little bit though <laughs> okay we're gonna cleanse this nail with the nail surface cleanse and then we're gonna apply a little bit of Remedy Revitalizing Cuticle Oil. Just a little drop, rub that in there. The, you don't feel like you're wearing anything, do you, Jamie? No. She feels like she doesn't even have product on her nail, but it is flexible and it is strong. I want you guys to go ahead and take a look and feel this nail. How does that feel? It feels amazing, amazing, doesn't it? Doesn't it look amazing? Wow. And you're telling me that's not gonna lift. It's not. The only way it's gonna lift is if she keeps picking at it, plays around with it, keeps beating her nail up. That's the only way she's gonna make it lift. Now, how do you soak it off? Okay, great question. How do you soak it off? The way we're gonna teach people how to remove it is since it is a nail that is so soft to file, you'll notice that when I filed it, it was very easy. I had all that white on my peak. A couple strokes later, that white was gone. So the best way to remove this is to file it off. You can soak it, but it's going to take you about an hour. So it's going to be easier and faster just to file it off. Okay, it is something that is revolutionary. We do. Nobody has this technology. Nobody has this right now. We are the only ones, and we are the only ones that are going to have it. So. I hope you guys enjoy seeing poly gel. I would love it if someone else would like to get poly gel. Come on up, come on up, and we will do a poly gel nail on whoever wants some poly gel. She was wanting it. 